Lizzie Briggs and her dog Lily live in Fratton. There should be one more puppy in the picture you see before you. Lizzie's other Bichon Frise, Willow, passed away only a few weeks before following a long series of health problems. Lizzie told me of how she came to meet Willow. I felt uncomfortable when I got to the address. It was a private address. Um, something told me inside that there was something wrong. She went out into the garden to collect uh, Willow and um, I went to follow her and uh, they said, no, 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 you can't come with us. Um, and I said, why? And she said, oh, health and safety. I wasn't allowed to see where Willow was being kept. Anyway, they brought this pitiful puppy to me. Um, she was skin and bone. She, her tummy was distended, it was enormous, it was as big as my hand. It was terrified, it wasn't socialised, her back end was covered in faeces, absolutely covered in faeces. Emotion took over, I threw the money at the girl, I took the dog, brought the dog home, took her to the vet the next day and there was a list of health issues, this puppy. This puppy would have died another 24 hours. Sometimes farmed puppies suffer enduring health problems and have stunted social skills that can dramatically shorten their lives. Willow had to be taken to the vet every so often and Lizzie went to great lengths to ensure that she would be healthy. But in June of 2015, three years after Lizzie bought her, Willow passed away following her diagnosis with a blood disorder. I was expecting it. The illness was, it was short, 10 days all in all. I knew um, it was going to be bad news. Something inside me told me it was going to be bad news. This one knew it was going to be bad news. We both picked up on it. Um, I can't explain it, it was gut-wrenching. It's the only way I can say it. I felt like my gut was torn out. After Willow's death, Lizzie has tried to raise awareness of what happened to her. The breeder she'd bought Willow from is licensed by Horsham District Council. For this trader to um, sell puppies from a private home, she operates under a pet shop license, which is legal. I managed to get Horsham's MP to write to the council to investigate this. Um, as far as I'm aware, the breeder's license, because she also had a breeder's license, was removed. And she was also reprimanded for not providing um, correct vaccination certificates um, and that's all that's happened. After multiple attempts to contact them, Horsham District Council declined to comment. Lizzie continues to work to raise awareness of puppy farming. She tells me of what she plans for the future. Um, well I'm, I'm now going to try and find out um, who else advertises and I'm going to try and target um, the advertisers um, and, and ask them to, 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 to review who is advertising. And that would be my next priority, really, is to try and... Because if they can't advertise, you can stem the sale to a certain degree. But it won't stop. It's fed by greed. It's just raising awareness. It's just, you know, raising awareness, making people aware. Luke Dolan for Solent News Now.